That leaves secret invasion. You know what I realized? Um, I totally forgot about this. I canceled my Disney Plus subscription, and I was hoping to use my parents because they have one. I I called them uh, yesterday, the day before, to be like, oh, hey, can I get the login? It's like, well, I, we canceled it because we thought we were going to use yours. I was like, hold, oh. on, hold on a second. Whoops. How does that work? We both forgot that we were using the other person's uh, oh. login. So Who I can I you trust? Watch Am I right? <laughs> so, um, Tyler, did you get the chance to watch Secret Invasion? I did. Yeah, I watched the first thing on Wednesday. Yeah. Cool. It was a show. So, yeah, I, I think I think we should talk about the. Um, I think we should talk about the show itself first. You watched it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, what were your thoughts on the on the first episode? Uh, it it it, it kind of I kind of feels like the the Black Widow thing for me. It's a little too little too late for the character of Nick Fury. Um, nothing against Sam Jackson. That that scene with him and Olivia Coleman was great. But the dude is old. Like, I don't, like, he is walking at a leisurely pace <laughs> most oh. of the show. Like, I just can't really believe the action end of it. Um, I like Ben Mendelsohn a lot as, t- as Talos. Um, and it's, this seems like it's going to be a Talos, Nick Fury, buddy, cop, espionage show. Like, got potential. Um, it, uh, I don't want to spoil I... it because something yeah, big happens. Right. Yeah, yeah. Something big does happen in the first episode, so I don't want to spoil it. But uh, I was like, eh, eh, fine. It, it it didn't make me excited for the next episode, but I will watch the next. Uh, no, we won't be spoiling anything on this. You guys watch it if you'd like to. I actually enjoyed it. Um, I found a lot to like. I'm still invested in Nick Fury's story. I've been curious as to like what he's been doing. We know that there's a there's been a Nick Fury running around who's a scroll while the real Nick Fury was in space. This um you know kind of addresses that to some degree. I thought the opening scene was hot. I thought that was a great opening sequence. Mm-hmm. Um and I thought throughout it delivered on intrigue and it did deliver to some degree on the mystery of you know what secret invasion was about in the books, which is who do you trust? Um I like that. My problem is that first of all, it introduces, well, it reuses the idea of like the refugee squirrels. It brings that up again. And I think there's some complications in terms of the presentation of that. That's remind me of Falcon Winter Soldier. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right. And um, I also don't know how well this concept works when the characters who are allowed to be squirrels are not the characters we care about the most. Whereas in Secret Invasion, um, there were some pretty big reveals in the comic. There were some pretty major reveals that allowed it to feel exciting on that end and, you know, everything else. So this book, ha- this series has to be compelling on its own, and it also has to deliver on the mystery promise of the Secret Invasion concept. So far, I think it's done both. Um, if you are a fan of the comic, this is not that. Don't expect no. any of that for this. Yeah. No. Good. I haven't read it. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. Book club. Do it up. Gotta do it. Do it up. Um, so, you know, yeah, it was cool. I enjoyed it. I had no real issues with it. What I Except the intro. So if you haven't seen the intro to Secret Invasion and you don't know anything about it, it's not a spoiler to tell you that the intro was AI generated. Now, full disclosure, I knew that already before I watched it. So I knew what I was seeing. But if I didn't know, I'm pretty sure I would have at least thought something was a little bit fucky. Yeah. <laughs> because it doesn't look right to me. It doesn't look right my brain would instantly go, oh, this is AI generated, not, oh, they went for an impressionistic approach to this. <laughs> like, that's not what Marvel would do. It felt like if you've seen AI art, it felt like what would come out if you put in Secret Invasion comic book, scrolls, Aliens, and Nick Fury, and and politics, and green. If you wrote all that yeah. to Chad GPT, 
Yeah. This is what would be spit out. In in the style of a Windows 95 WinApp player visualizer. Because <laughs> that's what I was getting. I'm like, oh man, I can I'm listening to Lincoln Park while watching this. All right, cool. That's hilarious, dude. I remember that. Oh yeah. You gotta get the skins, man. Skins? Oh, you could get skins for your WinApp player. You get for some real? cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. What? Like what? Oh, whatever. There were mostly like uh, there was one that was like the Napster head. There was like yeah, you can get. A, there was a whole bunch. You can go oh, on different websites and do it. Um. So this was pretty disgusting. All right. It was disgusting because right now we're in the midst of a big conversation about what the role of AI in society, and it started in the arts. I feel. I feel like most of the conversation is is in the arts. And we already know there's a big fear about artists, creators in general, losing their jobs to AI. And um, Marvel has been chided for their treatment of their visual effects people um, for years. And it blew up, especially um, earlier this year and last year, surrounding the conversation um, with uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So... This is the worst possible time that they could have done something like this. To make matters worse, uh, we learned from the Polygon article, executive producer and director Ali Salim said he didn't even know much about what AR, what AI art is. Uh, he said, quote, he doesn't really understand how the artificial intelligence works. We would talk to them about ideas and themes and words, and then the computer would go off and do something. And then we would change it a little bit by using words, and it would change. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my dude got it. He figured it out. Genius. Uh, that kind of like uh, of like being in it, but not knowing how it works reminds me of that. Uh, you ever see that video of a guy at a – interviews a guy at a, at a festival, um, and he goes up to this guy. Just how many genders are there? Uh, and the guy goes, I don't know. I just got here. <laughs> it's like that same kind of like, you don't, you're lost in the sauce, buddy. You don't know what's going on. Just walked into a situation. Yeah. Yes. Um, and yeah, as Top Lane says, especially with the strike that's going on right now. This yep. is like crazy that they did this. Now, Method Studios uh is the studio that 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 did this. Um and they've also worked with Marvel on things like Miss Marvel, Loki and Moon Knight. Um they didn't respond to Polygon, but they did issue a statement to the Hollywood Reporter where they said, "Quote, um uh uh no artistic jobs, no artist jobs were replaced." By incorporating these new tools. Well, check out my next slide then. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> I took, uh, the, uh, someone on Twitter took a comparison of the main titles credits for Secret Invasion compared to Miss Marvel. Um, and there's about 40 different names, 40 extra names on the uh, Miss Marvel opening credits. Proof is in the pudding. Yeah. Yeah. Load of <laughs> Like, you're just straight up lying at them. Yeah. Yeah. They had a vision. They wanted to use AI art to, or AI generated images, whatever. Um, They wanted to get across the idea that you don't know what you're looking at when you watch the show. Because you think you're looking at stuff that was done by artists, but it wasn't. It was done by AI. Just like you might think you're looking at, for example, Nick Fury, but he's really a scroll. Mm. Um, great idea, wrong time, <laughs> wrong time. And I don't know that there will ever be a time to do this, Damn, but I don't, my question. yeah, like maybe, maybe not, but now is definitely not the right time. Yeah. It's, it's, it doesn't even look good. You know, like a uh, King, King to 27 and TikTok, uh, I mentioned, uh, where is it? Uh, it shows once again that AI is like fabricated furniture. It's not as good. I can I can I I compared it to the IKEA of art. <laughs> you build it yourself. 
Yeah. I genuinely have come to the conclusion over the last six months, and maybe I should have realized this a long time ago. I think that business people, studio heads, executives, not all of them, but clear, in my opinion, clearly a lot of them, actively don't like artists and creators. I think that if they could, they would put them all in a submarine and let everything be done by AI. I genuinely believe that. I don't think they give a shit about the jobs that were uh, lost as a result of using AI for this intro sequence. I don't think they give a shit about the artists from across the Spider-Verse that quit or the ones that stayed. By the way, just because only 100 quit doesn't mean that 500 didn't want to. But guess what? All 1,000 plus people have families that they have to pay or that they have to feed. You can't always just quit. Yeah. And think about how AI art was uh, marketed, you know, when it, you know, the, the advent of it, which was only this year, really, you know, which is a few wild. months ago. Yeah. Marco was like, oh, I don't think it's going to you know, happen anytime soon. Yeah. Bullshit, Marco. Um, but think about how that was marketed. It was uh, taking the idea of art to the everyman, you know, when really it's just like, oh, I'm bad at art and I hate that I'm bad at art. And I want that, you know, I, it, it's almost stolen valor for artists. <laughs> um, but it, there is a side of it where it's just like, not everyone could do it. Not everyone should do it, you know, but yeah. not everyone should uh, get into a submarine either. You know what I mean? Like not everything needs to be for everyone. Right. And by the way, there's, there's a, there's making art. You don't have to be talented to make art. Sure. You have to be exactly. human and you have to have passion and desire. That's all that's required. When you're a little kid, and you're, I used to draw like Squirtle and Pikachu. Same. You know, I used to draw Pokemon battles when I was a kid. It wasn't great. It was art. So I don't understand why people have this disdain for creative people. Get over it. You do other things really great. Hey, David Zaslav put together a wonderful 90 Day Fiance universe. <laughs> Big props. No, Enjoy yeah. your boats and planes. That's stay in your lane. What's the big deal? The 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 the, the uh, incursion, I guess, is the nice nice you know analogy to use here. But the incursion of business and art always ends in an incursion. You prioritize <laughs> you prioritize yeah. business in in those scenarios. Dan, that was not a sub reference. I did not reference the submarine. <laughs> I was saying, he, I said a boat. I, 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 I referenced. Oh, you, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, he funny. was, he counted me at four. I'm like, wait a second, four. I thought I was at three, <laughs> which by the way, I don't actually find a lot of joy or, or humor in this, in the, the deaths of the people sure. in the submarine. I think that I don't laugh at death um, personally, but the idea of generically, you know, getting in a submarine and just, and that just being the end. You know. It almost feels like this is like a new jump the shark moment of uh, right. Yes, <laughs> of reality. Yes, a a absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And maybe that should be a drinking game. Okay, Dan, you're right. You're right. Um, look, I know that people are gonna not watch Secret Invasion as a result of this. That's your right. Sure, I get it. Um, I think Marvel made a big mistake. They can't afford bad press right now, and they just took on a heap of it. Do you think they're working right now and making artists crunch to come up with an opening credits? <laughs> Yikes. I think they're going to write it out. It doesn't it doesn't sure. cost the money because it, frankly these shows don't make the money. Yeah. And what is the the buzz around this ends after this weekend, you know? Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, it's sad. 